Hello guys, um, I really hope that you are fine today. Today I am not going to beat around the bush, I am going to go straight, I am going to cut to the chase. Um, I know that a lot of us are going through a very bad uh, period right now, but guys, always remember, always remember, time and time wait for no man. Time and time wait for no man. And once again, knowledge is power knowledge spread this is definitely true so if you do not understand it when you are learning when you know things it's going to help you to make better decisions it's going to to help you to to think clearer you see that doesn't mean you're not going to fail you might fail but you if you feel that some because you haven't you, know, you haven't done your best you will fail because it is a step maybe there is something that you didn't really get but it's not because that you are you are ignorant so if you don't want to learn, you can wait because come rain, come shine, life will tell you how much ignorance is more um, expensive. You see how much ignorance can destroy you. So while you are at home, I am going to help you. In my previous video, I told you to try and do something, try to learn something, try to find something to do. But today I am going to help you. I am going to tell you what you can do. So. If you have a memory problem or you want to improve the capacity of your memory, you want to have a photographic memory, I have a good guy here for you. His name is Jim Quick. Jim Quick is a very good man. I mean, when I'm saying good, I'm not talking about his character. I'm talking about what he's doing. He's a very great guy. He's going to help you to reach a certain potential. Because I'm sure that you are not living your life to your fullest potential. So with Jim Quaid, he's going to help you reach uh, the fullest potential of your memory. So if you go on YouTube, you can check him. Check him out to see what he's going to give you, Jim Quaid. And if you want motivation, I have two people here for you. The first one is Eric Thomas. Eric Thomas is one of the greatest motivational speakers in, in the world, not only in the States, but in the world. So there is a speech he has, which is named uh, UOU. So if you listen to this, speech, I am telling you, guy, you're going to be very great. You're going to use yourself to your fullest potential. And also there is Prince A. He is a very good man already. He talks about a lot of things. He inspires people, you see? So, when you are at home, there are so many things that you can do. You can learn from these people. Build your future. Because as, as I, I always tell you, that your future depends on what you do in the present. You will reap what you sow. So if you like, don't like what you're having right now, you need to change the seed. If you don't like where you are right now, you need to change the position because you're not a trade. So if um, you like, you you need to have like um, things from wise people, like thoughts or ideas about the world or our generation. There is a, a wise man. His name is Sadguru. You see, you can go on YouTube. You listen to. He's going to talk to you about your health. He's going to talk to you about your body. He's going to talk to you about a lot of things that can help you improve yourself. You see, so do not waste your time. Learn something. Read books. You see, because through books you can find a lot of knowledge. And also, if you are a Christian, this is very important. If you are a Christian and you really need to get closer to God, to have a a very um, intimate relationship with God. There are two American pastors. One has already passed away and I am very uh, sorry about that. His name is David Wilkerson. He's a very great pastor with motivational speeches already. And the second one is Paul Washer. You can listen to Paul Washer or you can listen to David Wilkerson. Listen to their sermons. They are going to help you. Try to understand them. Read the Bible. See profit of this time to get closer to God. And if you like somebody who wants to um, who wants to learn like how to create a game or to create a web page, for example, Facebook, you want to create a website. So I'm going to provide you two um, websites. There is one which is uh, purple.com, and there is another one which is w3schools.com. These two websites, if you want to learn things about HTML or if you want to learn things about CSS, uh, CSS or JavaScript, these things they are going to be very helpful to you. So guys, please 
get yourself ready for your future. Get yourself ready for your future. Build your future. Because come rain, come shine. What you do today, it's what you're going to see tomorrow, you see? So learn and improve yourself and improve uh, the way that you are living. So follow these tips. Listen to these people and see how much it's going to, uh, to bring great changes to your life. So thank you so much for listening and remember to subscribe to the page. Subscribe and also press the like button because I'm sure that you're going to like this video. It was my pleasure. I am going to always be here helping you guys. Thank you so much. Goodbye. God bless you. And now this is your opportunity to participate in one of my videos and my next video. So I'm going to give you four words four vocabulary words. So all you will have to do is you're going to give me the definitions of these words in the comments. So if you give me the correct definition, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to reach out to you and ask you to give me a short video, you see, and I'm going to add that to my, to my video. So now get ready. The first word is caveat. The second word is coronalingus. It's not my favorite, but it sounds interesting. The third word is antisocial nearing. And the last one is social distancing zombies. So give me the definitions and I'll reach out to you to give me the video. So thank you. Goodbye.